Hello and welcome to the Video Gamers Anonymous podcast, where we talk about video games, movies, TV shows, and everything else in nerd culture. I'm Caleb, and today with me I have... I'm Alex, and... lifelong friend. Yep, <laughs> we've known each other forever. Um, and today our show is Star Wars themed in honor of Ahsoka releasing this week. So yeah. we're going to start out talking about Ahsoka, what our expectations are what we hope is in it um and then i have two star wars quizzes for alex to test his star wars knowledge um one is multiple choice (laughs) yeah those will be fun one's multiple choice and then i did do a music one as well um and then we'll look at some sporkle quizzes that we can collaboratively work on to try and figure out um and then finally we'll do some star wars movie and tv show tier lists and maybe a couple of other things with tier lists and then just an open discussion so sweet i cannot wait all right so to get started what are your expectations for ahsoka and what are some things you're hoping to see in the show so my expectations for ahsoka is sky high and it kind of scares me same (laughs) yeah (laughs) i mean i'm I, I'm so excited, like high expectations, just the lore. And um, I loved Mandalorian yeah. and I still liked season three. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I still enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Maybe not quite as much, but I still liked it. Yeah. But nothing will compare for my, my love of, you know, the Clone Wars and Ahsoka. Yeah. And, this is why and I'm, the, I'm hopeful for it is because of Dave Filoni. Yes. Yes. I'm if, hoping if he has a big hand in it. Yes. If there's one person that he, he I watched a, a, a thing, uh, I don't know if it was YouTube or an interview or what, but uh, it was with John Favreau. Favreau, is that how you say it? John mm-hmm. Favreau? Yep. Because uh, he was, you know, he, he obviously was the main person on, on Mandalorian. And he said Dave Filoni was like George Lucas's like son, like he's Protégé, a kind of teacher. Yeah. So I know. Out of all the newer people post uh, George Lucas, he's the one that gives the Star Wars magic and lore and love. Yep. Uh, yeah. Cl- so Clone Wars and Rebels are both amazing. Clone mm-hmm. Wars, especially Bad Batch, was pretty good. Mandalorian, like everything he's had a, a hand in, has just been yeah. been some like some of the it, best it, TV it, for Star Wars for sure. Yeah, and, and it's the it's the most like Star Warsy. Like it feels the most Star Wars. Yeah. Like it brings the kid out of me. Like he kind of <laughs> know, he knows the balance, right? Like he knows yeah. how to do you know the good cameos and the fan the fanfare. But at the same time, he still knows to like move the story forward and and do interesting stories and bring new things into it. So he has a good balance of of, of catering to crazy fans like us and also <laughs> you know continuing a story that that's actually interesting and not just you know fanfare that's one of the things i'm most excited for is seeing how he handled thrawn and rebels and now he's bringing thrawn back as a, a person who really likes the thrawn books i'm really excited for thrawn to be back and in live action like yeah and you're right because he uh Cause so I just watched like a thirty minute YouTube video today on on just a on just like a uh, like a reminder of of all the important yeah, episodes. I need to do that so, too. <laughs> and uh, the Thrawn, he was in what, what's that? Is the deep space called uh, space? What's it unknown? The, what is it called? Yeah, um, uh, unknown regions I, or like the um uncharted I, I just watched the the yeah, video I know on what it. you're talking about though i'll look it up so, for like, you. so at the end of rebels right like uh ezra used the little whale force things whatever the heck they were yep and that that took them now did that where do we know where it took them or were they going to that unknown whatever regions of space that thrown is from i guess that's what we're gonna Hopefully yeah, find it's out. called. I think it's called Wild Space. It's beyond the outer rim mm. um, or unknown regions. Um, and yeah, we don't really know what is what exactly going to happen with that. 
So I, what do you? I, I don't think this is going to happen. But in the books, um, after the Thrawn books, the next big bad is some aliens called the Yuzhong Vong from the um, the unknown Vong. regions. They come in and and mess everything up. So there could be something. I, I don't think they'll bring in something like, like a build that. up. Well, they could do like maybe a eventually. Out of like they could do like a build up. Whispers of yeah. it in this, and then later on they'll bring in a new. It might not be the Yuzhan Vong, but some some new mm -hmm. alien species that's like the main bad guy for a while or something. Yeah, that would be interesting because that that's what that's what I'm so excited about is is it's kind of open to where they can go with, but like yeah, we also have we can kind of get ideas like each way seems exciting, which direction, whatever direction they take. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what do you think? Do you, what do you think as far as Ezra, is he going to get like the Luke Skywalker Mando treatment or is he going to be in it more than we think? Or what, what do you I, think? Um, I have a feeling he won't be in it that much. I hope he's in it more than just like the Luke Skywalker in seven, mm -hmm. um, but they might end up doing that. I don't know. I hope he's in it more. Because I want to know where he went. And if Thrawn's back, then Ezra should be back too, right? Yeah, I, I mean, if it's, you know, quote-unquote, you know, the Rebels character, I mean, I know it's an Ahsoka show, but you can't have, you can't not have Ezra be a big part of it, you know, if you have the other crew members. Yeah, like Sabine coming in. and Yeah, and I'm excited for Sabine. I saw Hera in it. Like, I'm excited, yep. you know, and even Chopper. Like, I'm excited for all of that. But, like, you know, I oh. want I want me some Ezra, too. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Zeb's going to show up, because he showed up in Mandalorian. And he looked pretty good in live action. But He did. He I, looked really... I was surprised. I wonder how hard it is to... Or, like, how much money it costs. Because maybe they won't have him in it um, that much. Cause, and they also didn't show him, like, doing anything. He was just kind of standing there, so... That's true, because you know you have Hera and and Sabine and stuff, and you know it's just you know makeup and costume. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm excited. So my other question to you, which we kind of you know hinted talked about it uh, the other week. What What do you think about Sabine? So there's. Have you watched the trailers first of all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the trailer, uh, you know, spoiler if. Anyone doesn't want to know anything about the trailer. True. Uh, but you see Sabine, you know, holding like a green lightsaber fighting. Yeah. So, and then, and then you know, her calling uh, Ahsoka master. So, again, we, we talked about this a little bit, but is she like force sensitive? Is she becoming, quote unquote, a Jedi? I know Ahsoka's not a Jedi, but yeah, is she becoming that kind of or, or is Jedi. it more? Yeah, or is it more of like she doesn't have any sort of force power or anything? She's just, you know, a well-trained, you know, warrior. Yeah, that with the light. I don't know. I could see them going either way. They could probably. Do you like that though? Do you I like? Would you? Like... I, I think I like it better. Just the fact that like she's a warrior and she's used the dark saber, and mm -hmm. so she already knows how to like incorporate that into fighting. So now she just has a new lightsaber and not necessarily rely on the force. Because that might just seem a little shoehorned in. Um, yeah, I 100% agree. Like, I, I agree. Because I think the whole point of, you know, her learning the Darksaber with, with Kanan and all that is she isn't a Jedi. She isn't Force-sensitive. So she had to work harder with it. She had to learn. Yeah, I think that's probably the like that. go. That's what I'm hoping. I, I hope so, too. Because I, I think that's that makes her a stronger character. Yeah, so definitely. I, I did hear... Uh, one thing from uh, from just like the the early reactions or whatever, and they said that there's like there's already there's more lightsaber fights in the first two episodes and like all of the sequel trilogy. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I'm like, dang, that's good for the show, not so good for the prequel or the the sequel trilogy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh man, that's but, yeah, exciting so, though. I'm excited. Like, yeah, to answer you know the main question. I'm super pumped. It actually makes me worried how excited I am because I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> is the, because I, what's I, that? I thought I read that the first two episodes are released at the same time. Is that right, or am I making that up? Yes. Okay. Yep. That's and cool. Is there only gonna be? I think normally each Star Wars season has been six episodes, right? Or Andor is a little longer, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Do you know, do you know how many episodes this is going to be? It looks like there's eight. Eight episodes. Okay. And then the two first episodes being released tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's exciting. I just uh Yeah. Yeah, I mean exciting. that's that's the best way to put it. I'm excited. I love Ahsoka, I love Rebels, I love Clone Wars. Trust Dave Filoni. Yep. And if this show fails, then uh, I'll be a depressed Star Wars fan. <laughs> True. <laughs> because True. this is the biggest thing I've looked forward to. You know, and, and yeah. you know, besides maybe Mandalorian, like Andor, yeah, I loved Andor. Andor was really I, good, but that was a surprise. I was not super yeah. excited for that, and it just ended up being really good. This one, I'm exactly. excited for. Yeah, exactly. Like I wasn't like super excited to watch Andor, like you know, like I am <laughs> yeah. for Ahsoka. Yeah, but man, after watching Andor, like God, that was that was a great show. Yep, agreed. The only show I've been disappointed in. Is is the book of Boba Fett, and yeah. then I will say, and I hate to say it, I really did enjoy the Obi Wan show, but I couldn't help but be a little disappointed. It was interesting. It wasn't what I expected. It was a little more, or a little less serious, I guess. Yeah, to me, like, like how you know, I expected I, it to be. Yeah, and it's not that like I I I didn't. It's not like I didn't enjoy it or anything. Yeah. You know, I just. I was, you know, I guess I talk about being super hyped for a show, and and man, Obi Wan show that might yeah, even, that one I was pretty hyped for. Or, yeah, and and again, I wasn't, I didn't dislike it. I guess maybe uh, I guess that's why I'm a little worried about Soka because I don't want to get over hyped and yeah. But I don't know in Dave Filoni we trust, right? Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it'll be interesting. I can't wait. And uh, shoot, maybe uh. Maybe each week we can have a little discussion on each episode. Yeah, true. You know. Yep. My final one that, on that... it is one thing I just want to throw out there is I'm pretty sure I saw Captain Peleon in the trailer, who's Thrawn's right hand man, and also that. Oh, I that. he's the human, right? Yeah. Is he? And I read that he like sends sends him back to the outer whatever place to kind of be the first human in the ranks of his people or something like that. Uh, I don't remember. It's been too long. He's a big might have been part of the books. Book. He's, he's, he's his right-hand man, like, in, in the Academy and stuff, right? I know in the books, like, he's the person Thrawn pretty much trusts the most under well, his command. Well, and like Is he already, like, established? I, I haven't personally read the book, so is I, it already I've only read the Legends ones. I haven't read the new ones, so it might be different. Um. I just I'm excited to see that character on screen though, because he's pretty. So in, in the Legends books, when when it starts off, is he already like Grand Admiral Thrawn? Uh, yes, in those books, okay, I believe so. If I remember. Okay, correctly. so I think what I saw was from when I was watching that 30 minute video of the recap. It recapped Thrawn, and in in the other books or comic, I think it might have been comics. Mm -hmm. The guy you're talking about, yeah, he gets him through the academy and stuff and helps him out. Yep. It might, I think I, I don't quote me on it. Yeah, but, we'll, we'll uh, learn more now. about them. And like, there's yeah. so many iterations of these guys now. I'm sure mm -hmm. there's like old books, new books, comics, and so it'll yeah, be, it'll be interesting to see what they pull. Yeah. No, I can't wait. I agree. Me too. Yep. All right. Well, let's move on to our next section. Let's test yeah. your Star Wars knowledge, and hopefully. I didn't make these too hard. I thought I might get this, these semi. I hope I at least get a C. <laughs> there are. <laughs> I'll keep score for you. Um, <laughs> so there are five rounds, three questions in each round. Each each round will represent a different kind of, like some one round will, is like original trilogy, and other rounds prequels. Oh, then we have like spinoffs. Um, I'll show you the question. If you can get it right without the multiple choice, you'll get two points. If you get the multiple cho if I bring up the multiple choice and then you get it right, you get one point. Okay. So we'll start off with the original trilogy. Oh. And I'm gonna start you off with some spelling. What is okay. the correct spelling oh. of the Wookiee's homeworld? Oh. oh my goodness. Okay. Can you spell it without any multiple choice questions? Okay. Um Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is kind of a hard one to start off with. 
No, it's okay. I, I like it. Start off hard. Okay, so the home world is uh, Kashyyyk, right? That is correct. Okay, and to spell it, okay. <laughs> I know it's something crazy. There's like, there's like a lot of like K's or Y's or something. Okay, so let's give me. I'm gonna try. Okay. K A. Uh, S. H. This is where I'm gonna get confused. Y. Y. K. That's my final answer for the this non multiple That is incorrect. So I'll bring up the multiple <clears throat> choice ones, and I'm going to okay. spell it out. So is the correct answer K H A S H Y K H? Is it K A S H Y Y K H? Is it K A S H Y Y Y K? Or is it K Y A S? H Y Y K. Ah, uh, I am so mad. I forgot a freaking Y. It's C. <laughs> it is C. You missed one. You were so close. I was very surprised. Yeah, I uh, thought that triple Y might throw you off. K S. I know. I knew there was the I don't know if it was the Ys or Ks or something. <laughs> yep. Freaking That's impressive though. You almost got it without the multiple choice. Almost. All one, right. One point. One point. Okay, what model of ship is the Millennium Falcon? The Millennium Falcon. Okay. I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> it is... Oh my god. Um... Let me know if you want the multiple choice. You're probably going to be annoyed when you see it. <laughs> yeah, give me a multiple choice. Okay. Is it a YT-1300 light freighter? YT-1760 small transport? YT-1200 medium freighter? Or YT-700 transport? It is... The YT-1300 light freighter, A. That is correct. Okay, that's two points. The YT, I knew that sound from... Oh, man, okay. Yep. When two you points. saw that, okay. it just, it just kind of clicked, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, two points. All right. It's okay. All right. It's... What is the species of the Yeti-like creature that trapped Luke in a cave on Hoth? Freaking A. Ah, <laughs> give me the <laughs> Bringing up the multiple choice. Is it a Tauntaun? Is it a Wampa? Is it a Gundark? Or is it a Bantha? <laughs> uh, I think it's I think it's a Wampa B. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. Yes. Three points. Uh, yeah, that's tough to remember off the top of your head, but I can tell you knew that when you saw it. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was in a bantha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, round two. The prequel trilogy. We grew up with. Yep. <laughs> He's right. On which planet did the Clone Wars begin? The Clone Wars began on... That's, this is, actually, this is kind of a tricky one now that I think about it. And I'll tell you, I'm not talking about the show or the movie. I'm talking about, like, the actual war, the Clone Wars. What was the yeah. first fight in the Clone Wars? So On the first planet? fight. That kicked it off. Now, are we talking, like, the origin? Like, where the clones are made? No. Where was the first actual fighting done? So if, I, I'm thinking about it, and I feel, I feel like the first fighting. Gee, I, um, I. 
the see the issue is is like the first one I, I remember seeing it's is on is on tap isn't is it on Tatooine? That's what I want to say. I'm gonna say Tatooine for the non local choice. Okay, Tatooine is incorrect. So here's your multiple oh. choice answers. Is it I, I, Geonosis, Christophsis, Camino, or Coruscant? I feel like it's Geonosis A. Final answer? Yes. Yep, it is Geonosis. Yes. Ah, I knew it. Begun the Clone Wars has. As Yoda would oh, say. That's right. Freaking ace. Okay, well at least like at least I'm getting it when I see that. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Okay, how old was Padme Amidala when she became queen of Naboo? I want to say fourteen. Is that your final answer? Yes. Nailed it. Yeah. Beautiful. Six points. All right. Very well done. Oh, I'm making myself a little proud now. Okay. <laughs> All right. In episode three, who said, quote, this is how liberty dies to thunderous applause? This, ooh, that's a good question. This is how liberty dies to thunderous applause. Um, this is how liberty dies to thunderous applause. Uh, Okay. In episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Yep. Oh man, that's a really good question. I'm trying to picture who would. I I want to say. I want to say. Is it Padme? Is I'm your... not too confident in that, but I'm gonna say final answer for that's this. Social locking in. Okay. It is Padme. Padme Amidala. Okay. Darn, I was hoping you'd go to multiple choice and get tripped up by like Bail Organa or something. <laughs> I was actually say I don't know. Yeah, I was actually gonna say Mon Mothma for some reason. Hey, that's but... why I put it in there, yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this was a throwaway. Jar Jar Binks wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you slipped my mind for a split second. <laughs> uh, Buddy. All right, round three. Live action spinoffs. So this will be right. one from Mandalorian, one from Rogue One, and one from Solo over here. I just have them okay. out. <laughs> All right, next question. What planet is Han Solo originally from? Oh man, that's a good question too. I I don't know off the top of my head. I'm going to have to go with multiple choice. All right, bringing up the multiple choice. Is it Alderaan? Coruscant, Corellia, or Obadiah, or Obadia? I don't know how to say that one actually. Obadiah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say C. Corellia. I feel in. like that's, I feel like I remember him saying that. Yeah. That is correct. Yes. Ten points. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Maybe I should have made these harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that'll be nine points because you had the multiple choice. Okay. This one you might get without the. Without the multiple choice. What is Galen Erso's nickname for his daughter? Galen Erso's nickname for his daughter. Oh, God. Whenever you say that, I get more pressure. <laughs> I put pressure on you. <laughs> okay. You should know this. No. <laughs> Why? Uh, you know what? Okay. Uh -huh. Would you like the name of his daughter? Would that help? Or do you know know that? Just tell me. Okay, remind me who Galen Erso is. This is from Rogue One. He's... Oh, okay. So it's uh, so the daughter is uh, obviously uh, Jer. Oh, Scott starts with a J. Yeah, Jin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh man. I'm gonna go oh it's on Oh I <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I freaking remember. It's 
Stardust. It is Stardust. Nice. Yeah. You got there. You got there. I got there. The, the second I, you, I realized it was the main girl from that. Yep. Yeah, because that's a pretty big story thing in the... Isn't it like a code or something mm-hmm. for the... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, Rogue One, I feel like, is an underrated Dis- Disney yeah, Star Wars. It's really good. I love Rogue One. Mm-hmm. I do, too. Okay. What is Kuil's catchphrase? Oh, my God. Uh, that's... Okay, is it... I'm one with the force. The force is with me. Something like that. Is that your guess? Yes. Okay. Well, you'll have three options now because it is not. I am one with the force. The force is with me. Oh, so I'm thinking of the wrong character. <laughs> yes, you are. Is it, this oh. is the way. Is it peace is a lie or is it, I have spoken. I th- it's, I have spoken. See, right? <laughs> it is. I have yep. spoken. Yep. I was thinking of the wrong character. Yep, yep, I even put that in here because there's only so many like catchphrases in Star Wars. So. Yeah, that's a great one. And this top right one isn't even really a catchphrase. That's part of the Sith code. <laughs> well, and I, obviously, I know this is the way. Yeah. Which I feel like since it's Mandalorian, it's kind of, you could just be like, oh, yeah, it's this is the way. Like, it's from the same yeah. show. Easy to, easy to mix it up. Way. Yep. Man, it makes up freaking characters. Uh... Yep. Okay, round four. The Clone Wars. Oh, the, the Clonies, okay. What is the name of the Admiral who served alongside Anakin Skywalker during the majority of the Clone Wars? Mm. It is... It's not... Okay, it's... Oh my god, freaking A. And if you just get his last name, I'll give it to you. Give me the multiple choice. Okay. Is it Wolf Yalarin? Is it Firmus Piet? Is it Wilhuff Tarkin? Or Amelin Holdo? Man, you know what? I'm, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm going to go with B. Going with Piet. That sounds, that sounds right. Sounds. It's uh, Wolf Yularen. That would be my second. Admiral Yularen. He's the, he's the, it's the same voice that does like the intros in the Clone Wars. Um, I'm pretty uh, sure also oh, does Yularen. Piet is from uh, four, five, and six. He's the one that takes the um, AT-ATs down to Hoth. He's the one who uh, assaults Hoth. Okay. Tarkin's obviously Grand Moff Tarkin. Do you yeah, know who yeah. Amelin Holdo is? Is isn't Holdo the um the the dude from Clone Wars and Rebels? No, he's actually it's actually a girl, and it's from um episode eight. It's the Jurassic Park lady. Oh, <laughs> I just okay, that's one my, in there. That's, that's why like I didn't remember a random name. Yeah. I think I've only ever seen episode eight once. Yeah, I think me too. Yeah. That's okay. enough about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Echo and which other clone from Domino Squad went on to join the 501st and become ARC Troopers? Echo and which other clone from the Domino Squad? Um, Echo and... Uh, uh, dude... Echo and why am I having a freaking brain for it? I don't want the multiple choice because I, I know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think you'll definitely get it with the multiple choice. Yes. Oh, and it is. That's on tip of my tongue. Echo and hold on, okay, I think think Alex is screwed. Echo, 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 echo. echo. <laughs> okay. Sounds like you're in a cave just saying echo. <laughs> listening to the echo. Echo, echo, echo. 
Echo. Okay. Okay. It is. Dude, it's it just makes me mad because. <laughs> oh, is it? Um. I'm gonna just say. Let's just throw a name out there. It's fives. I think. Final uh, answer. Final answer. Dang! Pull that out of nowhere. Oh, it is fives. My, I knew it. That's probably I my favorite it. clone name based off their clone trooper designation number. Five 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 mm -hmm. is fives. I love that. Uh, if fives was the one that was always with Obi One, right? Yeah, I believe so. And, and then like Rex was obviously the one that was with the Soka well, and Anakin a lot. Well, so Cody is technically Cody. Obi Wan's yeah, main clone commander. That's right, because Cody's the one who, you know, obviously when Order 66 yeah. happened, right? He goes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's Fives, what I'm thinking. Yeah. I think is the one who was one of the first ones to take out their chip, I think. If I remember yes. correctly. Oh. That, yes, that makes sense. I, I, yeah, okay. I was okay. thinking of Cody. For some reason. That's who I was. Yeah. That was the Fives. name you were trying to get. <laughs> you should be glad well, you like think I was, of it. <laughs> I was, I, I was thinking of for some reason I thought Fives was with Obi Wan, so I was thinking of the clone with Obi Wan. Gotcha. Yeah. But, hey, but yeah, gotcha you're right. There. Gotcha was, there. Yeah, got me there. Okay. Are these other made up clones? Because I don't recognize any of the other ones. Um, Cut up and heavy are both from Domino Squad, but they die off pretty early. And mm. Gregor is one of the clones with Rex in Rebels on that, like, um, oh, on, on when they're the, on that the six sand, legged, yeah, on the sand mm -hmm. place. Yep, mm -hmm. okay, that makes sense. Yep, okay. all right. Which Jedi Master discovered Ahsoka Tano and brought her to the Jedi Temple to be trained? I know this one, my boy, uh, uh, Plo, Placoon. It is Plo Koon. Yep. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. I love him, man. <laughs> yeah, I love Plo Koon. He's so cool. His, like, legend stuff is really cool. He, like, learned how to use Force Lightning without tapping into the dark side, and it's, like, yellow. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. That's, cool. That's really cool. Okay. Who, uh, who's Ayla? That sounds familiar. Ayla Sakura. In the Clone Wars, she's the Twi'lek with the French, like, kind of accent. Um, ah, the blue yep. one in Clone Wars and in, sorry, in Attack of the Clones, she's in that too. And also, it, when Order 66 happens, she's in that like foresty, flowery place, Felucia. Blowy one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I think those plant things are kind of glowing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Last round. You're uh -oh. at 15 points. Rebels. Rebels. Leading up to Ahsoka. I like yep, it. leading up to Ahsoka. These ones I just came up with today. What species is Garazeb, Zeb, or Relios? Mm, I'm going to know it. I feel like once I get the multiple choice, but I need the multiple choice. Okay, here comes the multiple choice. Is he Ithorian? Is he Rodian? Is he Bith? Or is he Lasat? I think, I think he's Lasat. Final answer. Locking it in. It is Lasat. Yeah. 16 points. All right. Have I gotten one wrong with the multiple choice? Um, I think one, but let me see. Uh, You got the Ularan one wrong. Ah, oh, that's, that's right. That's, that's the only one I think. God. We can go, I'll go back and check after. Okay. Two more questions. Okay. Believing that she is alive and would make a better teacher for Ezra, what Jedi does Kanan lead the crew to go rescue, only to discover that it is a trap? Ooh. Okay, so believing that she is alive and will make a better teacher for Ezra, what Jedi does Kanan lead the crew to go rescue, only to discover that it is a trap? Oh, that's a good question. Um, hmm. <laughs> is it... Okay, I gotta lose. Oh, man, that... 
Yeah, this one's kind of a tough one. It's a kind of a lesser known or lesser talked about, I feel like, Jedi. I just, I, I recently watched Rebels with with Avia. Oh, nice. And, and I feel like part? I I do, but I don't remember. Do the multiple choice and let me okay. see if I remember. Is it Luminara Unduli? Is it Ayla Sakura? Is it Shock T or Barris Afi? I feel like it's Luminara A. Locking it and in. I hope not, because that's my second choice. But yes, I'm locking that in. It is Jedi Master yeah. Luminara. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I I, I I remember the scene. I just couldn't picture. I didn't remember the name. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Final oh, one. Good. What is Kanan Jarrus's real name? Isn't it Caleb? It is Caleb. Do you know the last name? <laughs> One of the reasons why I put this is because it's my name. But what is the last name? Do you know? Caleb. Uh, I don't know. Caleb Jahari. <laughs> I don't know the last name. Okay. Well, let's see if you can get it with the multiple choice. Okay, I might okay. give you two points still. But we'll, Caleb we'll Doom. That's not Caleb Doom, I don't think, but that's, a, that's funny. Okay. Is it Caleb Deckard? Caleb Doom? Caleb Jerjared? Or Caleb Prestor? I feel like it's C. I swear if it's Caleb Doom. I think it's C, though. Locking it in? Yes. It's Caleb I Doom. Think... <laughs> I did not know that. I really did uh, not know that. I pulled Jer Jared from, um, I think, f five or six. He's one of the rebel commanders. Maybe it's four. He's one of the rebel commanders when they're assaulting one of the Death Stars. So, uh, yeah. Caleb it, Doom. Yep, Caleb My, Doom. The last name was Doom. I didn't remember <laughs> that. Yep, all right. Which, so I'll give you... You definitely deserve at least one point for getting Caleb right. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'll give yeah. you one point for that. Okay. All right, so you got 18 points. 18 out of what was it, like There's total a, 30? Yeah, total 30. But, I mean, you got most of them right with a the multiple choice, so... I'd give you yeah, a, yeah. I'd give you above a C. Really like a C plus B minus. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Good. That was pretty okay. good. It's better than the other ones. I did yeah, you, so did, you did really good on these ones compared. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So after that, let's look at some Sporkle quizzes because I want to join in on the trivia too. So we'll do these together. I don't okay. know if this these will be any good. I haven't looked at them obviously because then I would know the answers. Um. But this one, there's 15 questions, and if you get them all right, you get to the bunker or something. I don't know. We'll just do it for the questions. I want to get to the bunker. <laughs> Question one. What color is Darth Vader's lightsaber in the original trilogy? Blue, red, green, or purple? What do you think? B, red. <laughs> <laughs> Who killed Qui-Gon Jinn? Let's just say it together. Darth Maul. D. Yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi said, that's no moon, it's a blank. Space station, planet, star, or asteroid. It's... I... It, it's... Oh, man, that's actually a good one. Is it A? Yeah, I think it's A, space station. I think it's A, too. Yep. Yeah. Who is famous <laughs> for saying it's a trap in Return of the Jedi? It's a trap! <laughs> that would be yeah. Admiral Akbar. Yep. Yeah. What was Luke's squad call number during the Battle of Yavin? Was oh, you'll love this one. Maverick, Nerf Herder, Red Leader, or Red Five? Was he Battle of Yavin? I, it, it, isn't it? Is it Red Leader or Maverick? It's not Maverick. It's either Red Leader or Red Five. I'm trying to remember. My gut said Red Leader, but I could be confusing with someone else. I think. Yeah, he might be Red Leader. Who would... No, I think he might be Red 5. I think I'm going to go Red 5. Do it. Yep, it was Red 5. Oh, okay. nice. What is Owen Lars' relationship to Anakin Squ Skywalker? Skywalker. So, do you know this one? Uh, Uncle, correct? To Anakin Skywalker, not Luke. Oh, to, An to Anakin, to Anakin. Uh, cousin then, right? I think. Or, 
I think Wait, he's his Bolo... stepbrother, right? Yeah, his... because that would make Luke's uncle, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. his mom married, yeah, his dad, yep. Yeah, stepbrother. Yep, you're right. What planet is Cl Cloud City located on? Naboo, Kessel, Sullust, or Bespin? I know this one. Is it Kessel? No, I think it's Bespin. You're probably right. That's actually yeah, a good question. That is a good when question. People... Sullust is yeah. a really good. I'm going to use Sullust in one of my multiple choice questions. <laughs> That's a good, good call. Okay. How much money does Han Solo want in return of taking Luke and Ben to Alderaan? I think it's yeah. What do you think? I think it's twelve thousand. I think it's two thousand up front and ten thousand when they get there or something. Go with it. I'm not sure. Oh nope. Maybe it was ten thousand. Oh, we didn't. No, we didn't make it to the bunker. No, we didn't. Oh, we guess... had to get all. Of them right? yeah, How many do we have to get right? Yeah, we had to get all of them. We only got oh. to sector seven. Ah, oh, shame. Should we try? Oh. To, should we try it again and just go all the way? Yeah, we can try it. Uh, why not? Is it the same? Yeah, so red. Oh, yeah. Darth Maul. That's no moon. That's a space station. It's mm. a trap is Akbar. Uh, no. Luke was red five. He is his stepbrother. Er. It was Bespin. Okay, here. Maybe it was 10,000 would be my other guess. You good with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was 10,000. 10, I think it was 8,000 and then, or 2,000 and then 8,000 when they got there. Darn. Okay. Who is the Prime Minister of Camino? Ooh, I don't, not, I don't know. So is it Zam Wessel, Lama Su, Rune Hako, or Tanwi? I thought so it was Lama Su. It is, I'm pretty sure it's Lama Su because Tanwi is the lady who brings them in because she's the one who brings them to Boba Fett. I think it's Lama Su. Yep. I think so too. Yeah. Who was in charge of the ground assault on Hoth? Was it Captain Nita, Admiral Ozel, General Veers, or Moff Jajared? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I what I said some I said something earlier that was wrong. I think Piet takes over for the guy who leads the assault on uh, Hoth. And I think it's Veers. Veers D? Or no, it could be Nita. Oh, is it Nita? Captain Nita. I think it might be Nita, actually. I know, so this one's all you. What do you Darn think? Darn it, it was Veers. Uh, oh, well, that's fine. Those were some good questions. Yeah, those were bad. Those ones with the, the captains, admirals, and moths for the Empire are, are tricky. Yeah, yeah, because just all the names are a little... Confusing sometimes. Okay. I have a feeling this one might be pretty easy. Professor for mostly harder Star Wars. Okay. But we can try it and just see. Okay. So this yeah. is Luke Skywalker. Oops. On R2 D2. BB8. <laughs> <laughs> we got Darth uh, Vader here. All <laughs> C3PO. Okay actually get harder yeah what what point does it actually chewbacca the hard part is spelling chewbacca right <laughs> yoda Rogu. <laughs> oh it gave me it was just ben okay and then we got leia leia java i want to get to the hard ones to see actually uh, let's do this let's go from the hardest to the easiest we'll go okay. backwards Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um that one? It's not Padme. It's her It's the decoy or whatever. Yeah. The queen. I don't Corday I do not is remember. The one in two. Oh, I actually don't remember. Okay. I'm sure. Ooh, do you know this one? I know this one. I don't. C O Bibble. Such a silly See, how you how do you know that? Do you know this one? I know this one too. I recognize him, but I don't know. No, I don't. Captain Panaka. Or is it just gonna Panaka. be Panaka? Panaka? That... How do you spell it? Oh wait, no. No, no, sorry. This is Typho. 
Captain Naka Gregor. Was the first one. This one's the Naka. Uh, Your boy. My boy. Wait, does he actually get a yellow lightsaber? Uh, I, I don't. Maybe in two in the arena oh. he might have it. Do you know this guy? This guy's pretty cool too. I recognize him. I don't remember his name. Kiadi Mundi. Oh, Kiadi Mundi. I remember that from the <laughs> quiz or the yep. game trivia. Ooh, this is a good one. Do you know who this is? Uh, that's Uncle Owen, isn't it? It is not. It's his dad. Oh, that is a good one. Yeah, I don't know it then. How do you spell it? Maybe it's it's Kleeg. Can I just Klieg. put Lars? Kleeg, I E G G. Interesting. This is bothering me. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, it's the for what? I don't remember his name. Boss and ass. Boss and ass. There you go. Ooh, your dad likes this character. Yeah. Uh, oh, what is it? I I I'm I'm gonna know it when you say it. It's Biggs. Biggs, there you go. My dad does like that character. I don't know why. This is a good character too. I always confuse all of these. Yeah, this is Wedge. He's fighter. Ah, great character. Oh, uh, what's whatever Organa? What's his, what's her name? What's Bale. his name? Uh, yep. Whoa, Bale, his middle name is Prestor. I totally just made that name up for Caleb Prestor. I did not know that was his middle name. Really? You just made a name up? There's no way. Yeah, well, I made it up because it sounds kind of like my last name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, so you, you had no clue that was his last <laughs> no name? No clue. Or... I totally just changed a, a letter. That's wild. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, Sibulba! Sibulba. He always wins. Sibulba always wins. Oh man, I don't I don't remember her name. That is Baru. Oh, another Lars? Yeah, she's it... um she's Owen's wife. Oh, um, oh that's right. Uncle that's Owen right. And Aunt Baru. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder if this will give it give me his first name. Do you know who this is? Uh Tarkin? Yeah, Will Huff. I don't remember. <laughs> I only know what, that because I first name? Will Huff. I only know that because I put put that in the quiz. <laughs> Do you remember her name? It's a weird name. God, Anna Anakin's gets mom. mom. I I don't Anna or Annie? No, no, not Annie. That's um, that's that was that's, dumb. Yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I know how to spell it. It's Shmi? Yeah, Shmi. Oh Shmi, 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 Shmi. Yep. It reminds me of like a isn't like a pirate named Shmi or something from Pirates Sh- Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. Uh for oh. Peter Pan. Peter Pan, yeah. Peter Pan, there you go, Shmi, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, this that's one's green. easy. Yeah, Green's, General Gurus, whatever. I don't know how to spell it, General. Oh, really? I really Green. thought that's how you spelt it. <laughs> Grievous. 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 Grieve. That looks right. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how to spell it either. Oh, I got it. There you go. Is that really how you spell it? I think that's wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's easy. Good old Django. Django! Ooh, okay. Who's no. this? You you can't tell me that's not Uncle Uncle Owen now, right? <laughs> that is Uncle Owen. I mean, they they got someone who looked very him? similar to him to play his dad, to be fair. I know, they look all the freaking same. I mean, <laughs> I guess... <laughs> I guess it's good. Yeah. Okay. Who's this? Oh, I don't remember <laughs> his first name. Uh, it's a trap. Yeah, it's a trap guy. I can't remember right now. I, I definitely Jack know his first name. Yeah. Oh, does he even say? No, I didn't say. Han shot first. Is that this guy? Han shot first. He, it is. Do you know? I, his I name? can't remember. Mm-mm. Greedo. Greedo. Yep. 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 Oh, Dooku. First name. The most underrated say. villain that they did not do justice in the prequels. Yeah, he's he's much better in Clone Wars and stuff. Uh, and, and in the book, the, the Master and Apprentice oh, book. Oh, yeah, I started that, but didn't finish it. Okay, I'm oh, just, so good. 
I'm just gonna start filling in these. Yeah, now it's ones. gonna be easy. Yeah. <laughs> my girl. <laughs> we got my boy. Lando. <laughs> Lando. 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 My boy and my girl. <laughs> Dark Maul. Maul. Oh. Sidious. Who's hey, it gave it to me. Okay. Jar Jar. Oh, All right. Jar, what is this Jar. lady's name? Dude, I have no clue. Horde is what keeps coming to mind, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that gets blown up into at the beginning. Um, unless it's spelled differently. I have no clue. Um, yeah. Isn't, is this, there's one of them that's played by, um. I know who you're, you're talking about. The, uh, the Pirates girl, of the Caribbean. The Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, ironically, what we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, uh, Elizabeth Bank? No, not Elizabeth Bank. Uh, Elizabeth. No, what is, I can't even think of the actress's name now. It is... I know who you're talking about. The heck is her name? Uh, cast. It's her. What's her name? Kira Knightley. Knightley. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if that is. I, I, Hold on. We'll do some. We'll do some Wikipedia. Kira they're Knightley. Definitely. I remember it was definitely someone recognizable, like a known actress. I'm pretty sure it was her. Yeah. Why doesn't it show her filmography? We're Wikipedia gonna find it through Kira Knightley. We'll see if this is the act that that character. If you go on IMDb, it there we go. Too. Oh yeah, Star Wars Episode One. Sa Sabe. Let's Sabe. 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 I would have never guessed. Yep, that. it is. That's her. Hey, we got hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, with Wikipedia's <laughs> help. Hundred oh, percent. That's good. <laughs> okay, we got one more quiz that I think will be interesting. Star Wars okay. character by quote. So we have to type in the character or figure out okay. the character based on the quote next to it. Okay. First one. Monsters out there leaking in here. We says all sinking and no power. When are you? <laughs> okay, I'm done reading yeah, that. That's yeah. Jar Jar. <laughs> Jar, yeah. Remember, concentrate on the moment. Feel. Don't think. Trust your instincts. So I guess. From Phantom Menace. Is that Qui-Gon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Qui-Gon. Is it not? Or is My it... boy Liam? Liam Neeson? No. Then is Obi-Wan? Yoda? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> I just don't know. I think it might be Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon? Qui-Gon. What if you just type in Jin? Jin. Remember, concentrate on the moment. Feel, don't think. I, I swear that's Qui-Gon. It's like a picture of Liam Neeson saying it. Feel, don't think. Yeah. Uh, Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's move on. We'll come back. Zam, there can be no mistakes this time. I know this one. I don't know that one. Django says that, I'm pretty sure. Django Fett. Ma. Someday I will be the most powerful Jedi ever. Yeah. Emo Anakin? Yep. See, there it gave me Anakin. Why gone? <laughs> Hold on. Why gone? Jin. Why gone? Whatever. The dark side has clouded their visions. Hundreds of senators are now under the influence of a Sith Lord called Darth Sidious. I'm pretty sure. Wait, it has clown the bridge yeah, hundred centers. Dooku said that. And Dooku. That makes sense. Anakin Skywalker, I expected someone with your reputation to be a little older. Oh, that's a good one. I it, that's a. I, I, I don't know. Who's that? I think that's Grievous. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. The dark side of the force surrounds the Chancellor. That's is that Obi Wan? Or, oh, I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. This dark I side. think I know. My guess would be Mace. Mace yeah, since I could picture yeah. Jask. 
Excellent. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. You're going down a path I can't <laughs> follow. I wonder who that one is. <laughs> yep. Help me, Obi-Wan Help Kenobi. Me. You're my only hope. Easy. One of the most memorable lines, iconic lines. That wizard is just a crazy old man. Now, tomorrow, I want Leave. you to take that R2 unit to Anchorhead and have its memory erased. Oh, Uncle Owen. Yep, Owen Lars. You're far too trusting. Dantooine is too remote to make an effective demonstration. But don't worry, we will deal with your rebel you friends so? soon enough. Huh? You're far too trusting. Who is that? That's is that C-3PO? Tarkin, I think. Uh... Tarkin, your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon oh, of the Jedi Knight. Ben. Ben Kenobi. Will it give me Ben? Yeah, okay. Empire Strikes Back. No, I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I know. I know? Yep, that's Han Solo. Uh, the love, that's the love I love you, I love I don't. You. Yeah. Yeah. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Man, this has a lot of really identifiable quotes. <laughs> you know I guess, hey, it's an iconic movie, right? Yep. Why you slimy, double-crossing, no good swindler? Ooh, this one's Isn't a good. Han Solo one. too? I think it's about Han Solo. Is doesn't Lando say this? Uh, yeah, he yeah, says it about right. Han Solo. Yeah. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Ooh, I know this one. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Is that? What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Is that Leia? No, I think this is a character with only like one or two lines. Oh, I think it's Boba Fett. Boba Fett? <laughs> oh, oh that's yep. Okay. R2 says that the chances of survival are 725 to 1. Actually, R2 has been known to make mistakes from time to time. Uh, oh, dear. That's C-3PO. That is, yep. Oh, dear. Take your weapon, strike me down with all your hatred, and your journey toward the dark side will be complete. That's Palpatine. The Emperor. It's a trap! It's a trap! Akbar, you may have been a good smuggler, but now you're Bantha fodder. Pretty sure that's not said in English. I think that's Jabba? Yeah. Never. I'll never turn to the dark side. You failed, your highness. I'm a Jedi like my father before me. Huh? Who would that be? I don't know, bro. Oh, oh God, I the sequels. <laughs> I didn't know there was this much green in the whole galaxy. That's Ray. The belonging you seek is not behind you, it is ahead. I think that's the Lupita Nuango character. What's her name? She... Dude, I, I I honestly have no clue what the oh, sequel trilogy is. Like... bother me. I can fly anything as Poe, I'm sure. Oh, um, Poe Poe. Droid, please, nope. that's probably Finn. Today is the end of the Republic is Hux. Oh, what's her name? Ni... I don't know. You are no Vader, you're just a child in a mask. I think that's... the main... the big bad guy. What's his name? Snoke. Snoke, yeah. Let the past die, kill it if you have to. That is... Um, Kylo Ren. We're going to win this war, not by fighting what we hate, but by saving what we love. That's... Um, uh, Leo, I think it's the Rose. Yeah, Rose. Oh, That's yeah. the stupid one where she like the, flies the into the thing. The device yeah. where there's no con. Yeah, yeah, you are a bug in the system. Um, BB-8. <laughs> I don't know that one. You are a where bug in the system. What? I don't know. These are not iconic lines like the Leia. <laughs> the I think original trilogy. Uh uh we are the spark that will light fire that will restore the Republic. Oh, is that we Luke? Are... No, who says that? Or is that Luke? Ray? Holdo. No. Oh, it's or... Holdo. It's Holdo. Yeah. I'm the spy. I don't even want to do Rise of Skywalker. It was did... Qui-Gon. I put that. Did I not put I... two yeah. ends? That's, oh, you didn't put two gone. ends. And Maz Kanata. That's Dude. who I was thinking of. Ah, Captain Phasma. Yep. Hux. You notice how iconic I know the lines were in the original ones, and yep. then you get to the new trilogy, and it's like, "I'm the spy." <laughs> <laughs> Droid, please. Yeah. Like, come on now. Yeah. Oh my God. 
especially Empire Strikes Back. It's like, oh my god, that oh, that's so like, iconic. Oh, iconic. People who don't even watch Star Wars and all those lines, like, yeah. Well, we got to see. We, we, I probably would. We probably would have gotten more here, but yeah, we got the freaking Quagga too. Yeah, true. So really, we got all of the sequels and, or sorry, yeah, original prequels and prequels. And, yep. Yeah. Yep. I can't. I'm annoyed. I didn't remember her name, but okay. <laughs> it's okay. You didn't remember that. <laughs> all right. Well, that's the quizzes. We've we've stretched our brains with the trivia. Yeah, now it's... we should do a tier list of the shows and movies. I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Now, I think I want to change this. Here, we're going to do this. We're going to move E down, but do not, did not watch. Maybe you did watch this, and maybe you'll have an, an opinion, but I did not watch this. Did you? The Resistance, I did not watch that. Okay. Nope. okay, so we'll leave that out, and we'll just go okay. from S, A, B, C, D, and then F tier. All right. Now Should we do me. the movies first, chronological order? Like, what you thinking? Let's do, yeah, let's do, you know, let's get the shows out of the way. Shows out of the way, okay. Yeah. Mandalorian. Mandalorian, uh, oh, oh, how do you want to do it? Do you want to say what you would put it first? Uh, yeah, I'm, this is so hard comparing the TV shows to the movies. I know, I know. I'd put it either A or B, I think. Probably A. I agree. I'd put it with A, but the last season honestly could have bumped it down to B. Yeah. Yeah. But the first two seasons, I'd probably put an A we'll just because. see how many we have A and we can bump some down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm good with that. Solo. All right. Technically, that's not a show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're doing shows. Sorry. Where's the next show? Uh, Rebels just and Clone that. Wars. Oh, that's only shows. Okay. I'm fine with that. Let's uh, do. Clone Wars. I would put. What do I want to put? It's so hard S? because it's so hard because the top of Clone Wars is S tier. Yeah, I mean, for sure. But then you have like the Jar Jar Binks there. episodes, which yeah, like the first yeah. season or so, you know. So I'd put at A if we're just being like yeah, critical. I'd probably put at A. Yeah, Rebels for and me Rebel- is like high B, maybe low A, like. Yeah, because gosh, dude, like that season second two, season. Yeah, is A. I don't know if it's not A, but like a low A. We're going to put everything in A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I think the movies will be a little easier to kind of rate. Okay, let's start off with episode one. Yeah, okay. episode one. Oh, okay. This, this is going to be tricky. It's not a great movie. I like it because of nostalgia, but honestly, it's probably like. Maybe C is where I'd probably put it. I agree. I think it has redeeming qualities. I think the final, you know, lightsaber yeah. fight with Maul, good That's villain. The best I think redeeming it's redeeming quality for sure. Interesting thing. Anakin Young. People bash on young Anakin, but I thought that was fine. Pod racing scene was freaking awesome. Yep. So I think it had redeeming. So I would say C. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Episode two, D or F. <laughs> I'll put I would it. definitely i will put it at D. Yeah, I would put it at D. It's not good. There's some... It's the weakest of the Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's not much redeeming, honestly. I, I love it because it's so bad, and I just love... Like, it's... One of the reasons I love it is because of how many Jedi you get to see for, like, the first time in that... Yeah, but that's also the reason I don't like it, because they don't explore it enough. Yeah, true. That's why the Clone Wars is so good. More aspects. Yeah. Like... Oh, that movie's so frustrating because you're right. You, it's the first time, like, you know, that scene in that arena, you know, after they're fighting the yeah. the big monster. It's like you kind of see it for a second and then you see a little bit of the war and then, like, that's it. Yep. And then the Clone War expands on that and makes it amazing. <laughs> the yeah. show. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I, I'll put it there. I agree. Three. I think no, I'll put I would put it. I would put it at B, but B. honestly, three. In in if if I'm like not being critical, is one of my favorite Star Wars movies. Yeah, it's it definitely has way more redeeming qualities than one or two. 
I, it, and that even just the opening scene. Yeah. Like I was like, oh, there's some cool scenes thing. and like the, the yeah. fight between Obi Wan and Anakin. Uh huh. And just the connectivity between the original and the, like you knew what was kind of gonna happen and kind of seeing it finally connect. Yeah. You know, you were think, like my brother. Like it had that emotional yeah, aspect. That's such a good moment. So I would, I would put if if I'm being like critical, I would definitely put it at B. I agree. Yeah, it could maybe. I, I don't think it's better than. It's definitely not better than Clone Wars or Mandalorians. No. Rebels. I honestly, I'd still think I would put I higher. I don't know if I put it higher than Rebels, just for the fact that Rebels. The thing with Rebels is people don't like it as much as Clone Wars. But Rebel, when it's high, like Rebels is top freaking notch. Like the yeah. highs are high. Yeah, it has some amazing parts. For yeah, sure. there's like also we, some stinker episodes, but Clone Wars had that too. But what I liked about Rebels though is it kind of mimicked the original. Like it felt like the original trilogy, like an adventure, like a yeah. you know a kid finding his way and he's part of a team. I liked the team aspect. Yeah. So yeah, I would I would put a. I don't know though, because then. I, that is a hard one, actually, because yeah, then one. Like, to three, and it's like big stakes. It's like it's even. I mean, it connects such. I, the reason I think it's in B is because Anakin's so much better in the Clone Wars. Like you're, the you're, character you're, of Anakin is like completely saved by the Clone Wars, and in three, he just. I don't know. I it's, think it's it's not a coincidence. Both the 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 series that have. Ahsoka feel like more than <laughs> yeah because uh, true as much like a lot of people you know like my dad you know he grew up watching the original trilogy and and he watched the prequels but he didn't watch a cartoon so like a lot of people don't realize how important whether they retconned it or didn't yeah how important Ahsoka was like for Anakin yep and you're right you like it those two shows are above it because they make that movie better. Yeah. So I agree. Okay, let's do Solo, then Rogue One, then go into the original okay. trilogy. We Solo, might differ on I would put Solo somewhere in... I think I would put it in B, honestly. Ah, uh, you know what? I agree. I thought you were going to bag on it, but I actually... No, I liked Solo. I enjoyed it. I think Solo was a victim of releasing at a long time and being under disney i actually think it was a great movie yeah well, I a, great, a lot yeah. i loved them bringing them all into it and having him be like the syndicate like oh, guy no, i feel have, like that could have been way more explored if that movie did good i don't know if they're still uh, planning on doing another solo or not but like i don't think i think they are doing or no they're doing a lando show okay but yeah i agree i think that was actually underrated and i think it just fell victim of, of people being sick of disney yeah, star wars i liked solo okay yeah i agree i would put it exactly at b2 now rogue one oh that one's hard it's I, definitely I'll put better it than right solo there. yeah better than solo but i cannot put it above i don't know if that's nostalgia yeah. talking or yeah. i would agree i don't think i could put it above three just because like Although you could argue, out of any other Star Wars, that felt like the most original, tri- like to the original trilogy. Yeah. It felt authentic. Like when and I was Darth watching Vader's that, cooler I, in this one. <laughs> like that like, scene with Darth Vader in Rogue One is so cool. Oh, it's so amazing. But do you get what I'm saying? Like when I watched Rogue One, it felt like a literal prequel. Like it felt yeah. like that. Could, like if we were in the '70s, like that movie could have been a part of there. Part of that original trilogy. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah. But sure. that being said, I just maybe it's our nostalgia getting in our way. But yeah. I think most people agree with us. I that, think Rogue that One's a crazy. better made and written movie. Yeah, but like there's oh, something for sure. about three with the fall of Anakin and the fight at the end. Like I, I it's it's just, just, it, it holds a special it's just place so in my heart. Epic, right? It's like it's that's what stories are made of the fall yeah. of you know the fall of a hero and the beginning of something else yeah is you just can't yeah i agree yeah. should we save the original trilogy for last or just do it now yeah we could do the original original trilogy for last okay episode seven okay. this is going to be interesting where you put these because 
I think okay. I think episode seven could have been C if the ones after it were better and actually followed some of the stuff that JJ Abrams set up. But because it so, didn't, I would put it probably D. You would put it D. Okay. Yeah. So I think this is where we're gonna differ. I I would put it I get what you're saying. But I would put it at C, and if it would have followed up, I would have put it at B. Yeah, I actually maybe. think this is a great way to. I think. Re- I think I, I actually think I agree with you. I think the next two are just they so sour my perspe- perspective on it. But yeah, go ahead. I, I just remember walking out of Force Awakens. I'm like, yes, this is what they needed to do. They they kind of gave a little bit to the old fans like us, and yeah. then but. They also kind of soft rebooted it. Where, yeah, it was similar to New Hope, but they had to get, they had to reintroduce Star Wars. At this point, we got to remember it's been years since. Yeah, for sure. Star Wars. I do remember walking out of that movie after the seven and been like, "That was like, pretty good. I like." I was like, "This is awesome!" Like the special effects, like, "Oh my god, it's been so long since I was a kid. I've seen Star Wars." But yeah. like you said, the thing it could have been higher to be maybe if it set up like a really good trilogy yeah like a lot of good hooks that they followed through with yeah Um, yeah yeah. oh yeah so that's i know a lot of people hate on new trilogy and even i do but i actually think force awakens was a decent movie the reason we just clump it with the other two yeah uh but yeah these next two yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah i'll even be fair and i'll put the rise of skywalker at d (laughs) <laughs> Maybe, yeah. But that's even pushed. But the, for sure, I mean, let's let's just say oh, this. I hated right. Last Jedi. The Last Jedi was was literally meant to bash on Star Wars fans. I don't care what anyone says. The director, yeah. uh, what's his name, Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson. He tried to her expectations. Like, okay, man, shut up, dude. Like, yeah. it's a Star Wars. Okay, <laughs> he purposely like, I'm well, I'm better than you guys. I can make a better. So shut up and make a Star Wars movie. I hate I hate The Last Jedi, and I know a lot of yeah, people who aren't I, huge Star Wars fans love The Last Jedi. I did not like it. Have you, and have you seen that though? Like, a lot of people like will defend yeah, that movie. Yeah, there's I don't get it. Like maybe it's just my Star Wars glasses, but like I don't even think on its own it would have been a good movie. They're just running away the whole time. Nothing's really happening. Like it was it was a, a space chase. Yeah. Like that's for two hours nothing and happened. And they're like looking for that one guy who could like hack that thing and then they never even find him and then it's just another random guy in the cell is like, Oh yeah, yes. I can do that. Like, okay, why? Yeah. So what was the whole point of that story? Yes. Oh my god. It that whole movie was so pointless. They yeah. could have done something so cool, like and, Ray like, could they have killed everyone off and... too. Like they, there's so many people died. <laughs> And you kill your big bad Snoke. He was supposed yeah. to be your big bad. Like, Kylo, it's time to train, right? At the end of The Force Awakens. Oh, we need to strengthen your training, yada, yada, yeah. yada. And you pull Snoke. And then, like, fine, you make Rey a nobody, which I was actually okay with. But, yeah, but then they didn't even follow through with that. <laughs> they didn't follow through with that. They could have turned, what would have been amazing is if they would have turned Rey to the dark side and Kylo would have switched. Like, if they would have kind yeah, of swapped, swapped it. it Oh, yeah. brilliant! It would have been amazing. Don't even get started with Obi or with uh with Luke. Don't get yeah. me started with that. The end fight was okay, but why did he even have to die? I just yeah, yeah this movie. And don't even get me started. As much as it looked cool, the space jump into another thing. They specifically say in the original trilogy, you cannot like it. W- yeah. What their what do you call it? Hyperspeed. Yeah. It maps. The whole point of it, I just watched the video on this. It, <laughs> it maps out where you can go, so you purposely avoid things. Yeah. It like, did look cool, but that, like, breaks... You could just, like, put a hyperspace drive on a tiny little ship and just ram it into anything, and you have a giant yeah. missile nuke. And why does What's-Your-Face have to sacrifice herself? Put on <laughs> autopilot. Yeah. Oh my, okay. I don't yeah, know. We can, go, we can go on. I think my biggest on. problem with the sequels, they needed someone to oversee all three movies and give a general direction they needed a a kevin feige from marvel yes like or just one director for the whole thing and or and like a consistent writing group it just seemed like they set up ideas in seven eight just totally threw them away eight set up ideas nine just brought in the emperor and didn't have any cohesiveness 
Nine was like, okay, you know what? Screw this. We're just gonna try to give as much to the fans as possible to a fault. Yeah. Like it was almost like overcorrecting. Yeah. And for that's sure. kind of where. That's kind of why I would put the the. That's why I'd put uh, what's that one even called? The Rise, Rise of Skywalker. Skywalker. That's why I put at D because I don't even think it was trying to like. Whereas the Last Jedi, I felt like it was mocking Star Wars yeah, fans. This was where it all fell apart. Yes, at least Rise you can't of Skywalker. Really do much with this after this. No, it wasn't like mocking us. I feel like it was trying to just gift us with something. Yeah. Like, oh, you know what? Just get here's the Emperor. Even though it was stupid, at least it wasn't mocking us. Yeah. So that's why that's why I drank that at D above it, but yeah, still I both. I agree with that. I think it's slightly better. Still not great. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Okay. All right, episode four. I'm interested to see if we have different opinions on this, but I would put it S, definitely. You you gotta put it at S, man. It's the it's what started it all. It's a classic, you know, hero coming from nowhere. You have to put it S. I agree. Empire Strikes Back. Also, you have to put it S too. (laughs) I would put it above, just because I think it's a better movie iconic and, movies of all time yeah and we just went through that quiz and there's so many quotes from that movie that have stuck for 50 I mean, years <laughs> almost you know my wife she knows lines from that movie she knows who yeah. darth vader is and anakin and you know i am your father and all that. she knows all of that and yep. it's and she's not even a star wars fan <laughs> yep so i agree i'm curious where you'd put six I all right put I, it, I think in a somewhere I agree. I think it's the weakest one, and I would actually say I enjoyed Clone Wars more and Rebels more, but I'd probably put it above Mandalorian. Which yeah. doesn't make sense because Rebels above that, but I... Yeah, I think that's a good place for it. I'm fine just with because... it anywhere in A. Like, it's a good movie. The Ewoks are kind of silly. And Yeah. I, I but, just... like... It's we still obviously a have a soft to the trilogy. Clone Wars. Yeah, that's kind of the era we grew up with. But not even even taking off the nostalgic glasses, Clone Wars made the prequel trilogy better. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. And and I flip back and forth. I don't know. I don't know if I. I would definitely. Yeah, I would put it above Mandalorian and Rebels, probably. Yeah. I, I but I'm kind of flipping back and forth between putting Mandalorian above Rebels. Yeah. I th- Let's see. So... I think I would put... I feel like the Mandalorian builds a lot off of Rebels and Clone Wars. They kind of set up the whole Mandalorian, like... Yeah. System. I don't know if that would really change... I don't know. Rebels or Mandalorian. But then, but then think, I'm thinking... I... If oh, it was ahead. just season one and two, it would definitely be better. So you think season three is what's kind of bringing it a little lower? Even even though we enjoyed season three. Yeah, I don't know. Because like Rebel season one isn't my favorite either. So I don't know. There, I, would, I could flip them either way. I, I think... I think Mandalorian's a better made it, show. It's hard because so like the way I see it is the Mandalorian it kind of gave me that's the first time in the Disney era besides Clone Wars the final season yeah where it, it gave me that Star Wars feeling like oh my it god like it felt maybe like a child yeah. like like even season one, just hearing the theme and seeing Grogu and week to week, and maybe it yeah. was the pandemic that had a reason for that because we were, especially season True. two, we we're all stuck at home and you know watching it together. There's nothing else to do. But I mean, that season two, right, with Ahsoka, yeah. that episode of Ahsoka, yeah. the episode obviously you know spoilers with uh, Luke and yeah. and even the odds. I think the other... I would put Mandal. Yeah, that scene with Luke alone. Like that's what would put that it over, was what, like forty years of making. That's what like people like my dad wanted to see. You know, I grew yeah. up with the original trilogy, not the Luke from the sequels, yeah, but the, sure. that Luke that showed up from Mandalorian. 
So you're right. Just for the fact that it finally gave us the epic Luke Skywalker, you would have to put that. I yeah, love I Rebels. It. Yeah, I love Rebels too. Hey, it's still an Rebels A. Too. It's still good. It's still an A. Yeah, yeah. This is just like debating what A is better. Yeah. <laughs> as much as I will say though, I still stand by Ahsoka and the Vader fight, and, and that yeah. line, "I am no Jedi," is the the That's best Clone freaking. Here. God, awesome. I yeah, love that. Sure. Oh, I think this is a but, pretty good tier list. Yeah, I think honestly, I like, I don't know, like if we if, if we have people watching, tell us in the comments. But I feel like this is a very this would be a very similar list a lot of actual Star Wars fans would have. Yeah, right. I, I think some there, people but, yeah. put Revenge of the Sith a little higher. Yeah, there's definitely some prequel like super fans that that's their stuff that they love. Which, yeah, I mean, that's fine. L like what you like. It's not, mm -hmm. I love watching the prequels, but I know they're not the best movies. <laughs> yeah, we know, we know they're not written the best, yeah. of course. But as far as you know, in defense of the prequels, is that we saw original and yeah. at least they brought some. I mean, we still talk about the Clone Wars era more than any other era. Yeah, I love, right. love that era. It brought so much lore yep. into the mainstream Star Wars fans. So, yeah. Yep, definitely. Uh, that's a good one. All right. Do we want to do one more tier list or just go on to the next thing? It's up to you. I mean, we could just do a quick... Uh, if What's we don't want to do a tier list, we could just do like our top three favorite Jedis. Or we could do a tier list of Jedis. Yeah, let's look at... Um, lightsaber duels. Actually, that lightsaber lightsaber duel might be an interesting one. Let's see. Yeah, let's look at these. Ooh, these are gonna be tough because there's images. Okay. Well, yeah, but like, okay, this one is definitely S. That's one of the coolest lightsaber duels. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's definitely like, the most epic. And it goes on for so long. Like, like 30 minutes almost. Yep. Um, okay. What's there's like two other S's. Oh wait, no, there's more S's that I can think of. Um yeah, so I think I think the first picture right there could be This one's an S. An A or an S, yes. I think that one I could agree. Be an S. This one I also would put an S. Yeah, just the music alone makes yeah. it an S. <laughs> yeah. Um, we can maybe pare down S, but the other ones I would say are this one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what, though? I will say that out of the sequel trilogy, yeah, that's actually not a bad one. It's not, that's not saying that much, though. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. I think this one also could be an S. Which one's that one? Uh, oh, yeah, the, the mall. Mall. yeah, I agree. And then there was one more. Oh, yeah. So this one. It depends on if we're talking actual lightsaber duel or like how impactful the duel is. Like this is emotionally oh, yeah, impactful. The emotion behind it. Yeah. yeah. But if it's I just like choreography, like choreography, these two would be the top for sure. Oh, for sure. But if you're talking, if you add the emotion and like, if you live in the time, yeah. then yeah, I, I, I agree. Cause if you think about it, the best star Wars duels, are the ones with talking and with emotion. Yeah. With a lot of you know? weight behind it. Yep. Like yeah, that's exactly. this and this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so great though. What are some of the worst ones? Well. I would say which one's that one? Are these two? Oh, first this one? is Finn versus Kylo, and this is Ray oh. versus Kylo. Yeah, those are definitely the weaker ones, but out of the newer trilogy, I would actually the only reason I would say that those are okay is because I kind of like it in the dark and the snow with the light. Yeah, the atmosphere is pretty cool. That's about it. So that, that's the yeah, that's the only reason though. I have nothing else. This one like, that was okay, but like again, it's like yeah, I hated the movie. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it looked cool as far as like looking and 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 the visuals. It looked awesome. Yeah, that's true. It did. What about jumping Yoda? Um, Where would you put jumping Yoda? I know you know what? It's funny because a lot of people didn't like it, but I loved it. Yeah, 
I thought it was, it was cool all right. I didn't think it was it, like movie breaking. There were a lot of other mis- issues in that movie. <laughs> oh yeah, it just was so cool. If, like I and I remember the promos as a kid so much of that freaking fight scene. Yeah, but yeah, I would, I would put it at B or C. Yeah, B or C is fine. Honestly, probably more C to be quite honest. Yeah. What about Yoda uh, and the Emperor? That one. I'll probably. That one's tricky because you have one of the best fights ever going on. <laughs> yeah. in that. So True. I'll put that C probably too. I think probably around there. Yeah, it's like this is just this is just old man fights CGI. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, yeah. What about um, this one? This one's an interesting to me one to me because there's not a whole lot to the fight. But I, it's still iconic. I would mm, that that is good because you're right. Are you are we going for the style of the fight or the reason for the fight? Let's just go with would, how much we like the fights. If we're talking about Everything. like if if you if you want me to be honest, like I would put it at B if as far as liking it, but impact wise it would be higher yeah have you ever seen that remake of this fight oh my god that remake i have on youtube that, i know S-tier. exactly what you're talking about the remake is s tier <laughs> and i wish george lucas would just be like oh he doesn't own it anymore but if he would have seen that that's canon yeah because oh my god that fight was awesome yeah that was probably if, if if that fight was real that would be the best fight yeah that's that's <laughs> That is such a cool fight remake. But I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. You could put it at A because that I was the was first. Say, yeah. I mean, it was iconic. That was the reason, you know, Luke, uh, it was just, you would have to put it at A just for that reason alone. Yeah. Okay. We're kind of jumping around a lot here. What about this one? This one. That was actually really cool for like the two seconds that yeah, lasted. Yeah, it was really <laughs> short. I feel like it might be it high was. C. I'll put it at C, but it, like it looked cool. Yeah. I remember them flying at him and jumping over. Yeah, that... This one's Which also one's that one? pretty short. This is Dooku versus Obi Wan and Anakin. Yeah, I feel like anything Attack of the Clones just C tier for me personally. Yeah, yeah. I think it's one of the like, better like not war lightsaber fights. You know, not one yeah. on one, but two on one. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think I'd like it better than the Yoda fight in that. I agree. I, oh, it still I don't know. Really like, quick, like Yoda Anakin fight. Gets... I remember, I remember Yoda like pushing his robe aside and lifting out, uh-huh. and the music. That's true. Like, I like oh. the force part of that fight a lot. Yeah, yeah, and I know a lot of people didn't agree with Yoda being that agile and stuff. I don't know. It was kind of cool, but I don't. Uh, what, what else we got? So this is Rebels, which one's that one? Kanan and Ezra versus Darth Vader. I don't really remember the fight too much. I just watched that one. That was actually a really good fight. I'll put it at B. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of thinking B because I remember being scared of Darth Vader. Like, oh man, he's gonna yeah, do some shit. Some stuff. It was up. actually a really good fight, but it's not necessarily like an iconic fight. Yeah. Um. Let's see. We have Dooku versus Anakin, where he kills him. I would put that at A. To be honest, I yeah, thought that was I could a great do A or B. That was a good one. And th- just the ending of that, I was like, oh, dang, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this one, this is where Palpatine kills all of the Jedi in like two seconds and then fights Mace oh, Windu. Yeah. Uh, I'll put that B because it's kind of cool finally seeing him. Like, Yeah, I wish. I go. <laughs> I feel like I heard somewhere that like the stunt double couldn't do it or something. And so they had to have him, Ian McDermott, do it. And that's why it kind of cuts a lot. And he's just, it's just like zoom in on his face yeah. and then he's somewhere I heard else. They actually- yeah, they cut down the fight to what it originally was supposed to be. Yeah, but, I, I wish I would have. We would have been able to see that full fight, but you know, I do too. That's fine. Obi Wan and Grievous. <laughs> I mean, it has some iconic lines. Yeah, for sure. We can put it in B tier for just that. <laughs> yeah, like, there's that. not much to the actual yeah. lightsaber fight. It's more no, of a chase but... scene than a lightsaber fight, but it still is iconic. You know how many memes and stuff I see of that. Yeah. This one, I think I would put an A. Yes. Yeah, I would put an A. Yeah, I would put an A. I agree. Yeah. I think the first one this between them... This definitely, the, of the original trilogies, the coolest lightsaber fight. It's I like... think 
everything about that one. Yep. The atmosphere, it's a long fight. There's talking. It's oh. like emotional. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that, that one is a little more tricky. I don't know if I would put which one of these I would put. Well, I, I know I'm going to get flack on it, but I'm telling you, like, I don't get excited about that fight. I know it has big ramifications and big. I could do this. I think. Things behind but I don't get excited for it, if that makes sense. Yeah. I could be, I'd be okay with this. Like, I think I personally might have this one lower just because of, because I like the original trilogy so much more, but, but yeah, I could yeah, see, yeah. like, this is a good, well core, like, well core yeah, I, fight. I mean, I this agree. This has a I lot of, I'll... like, raw emotion of him, like, just hitting I'll, the I'll lightsaber put... over and over and over. And yeah. I'll probably put that one over the Revenge of the Sith one. Yeah, and then I would probably still put the revenge. I don't. It's just, the other one's so iconic; it almost feels like a disservice to say that. Yeah, but like if I'm just talking about choreography and also like a big turning point, I mean, Anakin freaking chopped off his yeah, head. That's like. true. Are you good with the order of the S's? The S's. I, 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 yeah. Yes. I, I think so. I would actually put the Ahsoka Invader over over that. One. That's I, the one I was kind of. Yeah, I would do that too. I was kind of thinking that. The, the Ahsoka Invader uh, is just so emotional. As much as the yeah. other one was, ten, like it was so satisfying. Yep. But yeah, I would put probably Ahsoka just because God, I I love that fight. Yeah. So like, it is a good one. All right, I saved both both of our tier lists, so I have them. If we ever want to come back and rediscuss, yeah, we can always, yeah, see if we change our mind in the future. Okay, the last thing I had before we go, um, is I watched two Marvel movies. I'd say let's say we're done with Star Wars. I'm moving on to Marvel. Okay, Okay. I watched Wakanda Forever and Quantum Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. All right, all right, okay. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna do the questioning for you. Okay, okay. All right. So first and foremost, let's start with. I'm gonna save Wakanda forever for last. Okay. So we'll start with Quantum Mania first. Well, how did you feel about that movie in general? What was your first kind of reaction? I didn't like it very much. It okay. kind of felt I'm like, gonna... like it, honestly, it kind of felt like Spy Kids. Like, <laughs> the visuals definitely yeah like, like i don't it's... know how to explain it i felt like um machete should have just shown up at one point <laughs> like um i think my, my biggest problem with it is kang like mm-hmm. at one point he's like throwing people against the wall with his mind he's like incinerating tons of people uh... in an instant and then ant-man gets there and he gets hit with one of the things and he's fine. Like, why didn't he just disintegrate him if he could do that? Like, like in, inconsistent. Yeah, there powers. just seemed to be a lot of inconsistencies. Oh, and another thing I didn't like that annoyed me a lot is the whole, I can't tell you, it's for your protection for the whole first half of the movie from like Janet. Yeah. Like, I can't yes. tell you, we have no time and then walk through the forest for an hour. Okay, well, there's plenty of time. Freaking tell them. <laughs> All they had to do was talk in that freaking movie. Yeah. And yep. they didn't. And okay, okay, okay. So what did you feel? I'm very curious. So what did you feel about uh his daughter? Uh or uh, not uh, you know, Aunt Daughter. Yep. I feel like she was better as a littler kid. <laughs> she was way better in one and two. Because yeah. they switched like, actresses and, yeah, from Endgame. Did. Yeah. And uh this actress I actually knew, I knew from other shows. Okay. And uh, I agree. I think, and I, you know, and this is for me coming from a different perspective, you know, I have a daughter, father daughter relationship. And I think, I think it was badly done. I think she was kind of yeah. annoying in the sense of, you know, the rebel thing is the typical thing. And then with Ant-Man, it kind of, it was very like, there wasn't any depth. It was just like, oh no, Cassidy, no, you can't, no, don't do that. You know, there's no depth yeah. to it. Yeah, I agree. It was kind of, it was kind of obvious, like, like, father the whole movie was kind yeah. of like that. 
Like so okay. So, Modok, I did not like very much. Like, no, isn't he a different no, character in the comics? He's not the Darren guy. He's right? not. He is not the the villain from the first movie. No, he's not in he's, the comics. He's not. That. Yeah, isn't it the the guy in the computer in mm-hmm. Civil War or whatever? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. They. So, so that they, was weird. I didn't. Uh, it, and like, it they, looked weird too. Yeah, it looked weird. I thought he was supposed to be more comical than that. Like, none of his lines seemed that funny. <laughs> I don't know. No, I agree. And, and then, it was just okay. Kind of weird. And what did you think of the Wasp? She was in that Girl. movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly. She didn't do anything. She. I know it's called Ant Man and the Wasp, but she did not do anything in yeah. the movie. Yeah, literally nothing. I, I no, agree. Honestly, neither did Hank Pym. He just said one-liners every oh. once in a while. And they didn't have the best character, Luis. Yeah, yeah. So I agree. So overall, uh, you know, you would say definitely lower tier Marvel. Yeah, I think it's the weakest of the new ones, and the new ones haven't been that outstanding. I agree. I agree. And I think, you know, we won't get too deep into it because I think one of these weeks we need to have a Marvel themed. Yeah. Episode, Cause we could do a lot with that. Yeah. we could do So, that. okay. So that's Ant-Man Quantumania, Disappointing. Yep. King disappointing. Yep. Some characters pointless, very bare bones, not deep. Also, I agree. The end part with Kang and the whole like, um stadium full of kangs is he yeah. supposed to be like super smart it just made him look like they were all like crazy i don't know i'm yeah. not that super excited about kang and he's supposed to be the next like avengers no. level threat right the thing is is like i was excited about him yeah like I was. when we saw loki right For sure like, i was yeah and this movie deflated that yeah like 100 percent. like if if a villain like ant-man stopped him so he's supposed to be some big bad <laughs> yeah. like and I'm not like trying to diss Ant Man, but like he's a, a big bad. Like they're try- they're making a movie based off a of king. Yeah. And one of the kings got defeated by one hero. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or two, yeah. whatever. If you want to count the wasp or whatever. But <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So now I'm very curious what you think about uh, Black Panther or Wakanda Forever because I don't know. I wonder if we'll differ on this one. So what overall like initial I, thought? What do you think? It. I liked it. I thought I have some things that weren't my favorite, but overall, I think it was it was good. It was a good send off for Chadwick Boseman. Um, Namor mm-hmm. was pretty cool. I thought the the flying with Namor and the like wings on his ankle could have looked really mm-hmm. stupid, but it actually looked really cool how they did it. Mm-hmm. Um, Shuri was pretty good as Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. My gripes are Riri or Ironheart or whatever. I don't really know why she was in the movie. Feels like mm-hmm. kind of like what you said last week. They're just kind of throwing in these kids just yeah. to set them up for later. But like it kind of, I don't know. It She didn't really seem to do much. It felt a little for like there's no need for a storyline yeah. to kind of be. Like or- why is Namor going after her? The government already has the the like technology why yeah. it felt like that why was just that? to get her to Wakanda. Mm-hmm. Like, why did they have to have her in a storyline when, yeah, I agree. It was yeah. kind of, it was, it was pointless. And the suit uh, just looked like another Iron Man suit. Like it didn't look yeah. anything special. <laughs> yeah. They may iterate on it and make it look cooler later. But that one was just like, eh, I've seen that before. <laughs> better done. better. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Um, I loved one thing I loved about this movie was, um, why can't I think of his name? The great ape guy. Um, the Jabari oh, yeah. guy. His, Not, yep, the, the bigger dude. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. his relationship with Shuri, I think, was really cool. And having him uh-huh. be kind of like the last person she can go to. Because I've always thought that guy was a cool character. Like a, a cool mm-hmm. idea. And having him be a, an emotional support character surprised me, but I liked it a lot. Yeah, I agree. Like it was, it was. I it surprised me too being the emotional supporter because I didn't. I wouldn't have expected that after the first movie, at yeah. least. Yep. Um, okay, so 
what did you think? So I got a few questions. So, so villain, I agree with you. I actually really enjoyed uh, Neymar, his yeah. name, right? Yep. Yeah, I, like I actually, him. I really enjoyed him. I thought he had good reasonings. Yep. Obviously, he was the extreme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As in any villain, but like you kind of can yeah. understand. He's and with like his- eternal life, I feel like you kind of. Like, that's kind of been a trope where you go there eventually. <laughs> You're like, okay, everything sucks. Let's just kill everything. Like, yeah, he's, like he's living a yeah. really long life. He's had some messed up stuff done to him. Yeah. He's feeling yeah, so like I, he created a better world under the water. So, I mean, so it's this. extreme, but I get it, yeah. But you could you you could get his reasoning, you know, if you're yeah. eternal. He said you're sick of waiting for something to change. Yeah. So what was a better villain, him or Killmonger from the first movie? Hmm. I, that's a good question. I don't know if it's, I kind of think I like, I think despite what we just said, I think Killmonger's reasoning is even stronger. Like he's been directly, he was directly impacted by Wakanda and he didn't go and try and burn down the whole world. He went directly to Wakanda and was like, I'm going to change it. And like, mm-hmm. I feel like he got more done than Namor did. He went and like burned the flowers. He took over. I also just really like the actor yeah. <laughs> of, yeah, of Killmonger. Is, that was the yeah. the surprise of Killmonger in Wakanda Forever was also really cool. I did not expect him to be in it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I agree. Him showing up. I, I like Namor, good, but I, but I think I, I think I like Killmonger better. Yeah. I mean, Killmonger is. I, I think he's a superior villain too. I remember watching this movie in theaters, and the second Killmonger showed up, yeah. you know, in the Dreamer or whatever she was in, yep. uh, the, the like Astral everyone or whatever, yeah, everyone was like, "Oh, it's Kill!" Like I think Killmonger just has more of a presence, and he's cooler too. Like he's just he just seems yeah, like a cool I, guy. Yeah. Like I don't know. Yeah, he kind of has like that swag. Yeah. Like he he can hold himself up. Like yeah, I agree. Um. So I would say I agree. I liked the movie. Uh, the movie was long. It was really long. Uh, but it was good. I, I will say uh, one other question. Well, before I get to the next question, I think the best part of the movie, and I think you might agree with me, is actually uh, uh, Michonne's character from The Walking Dead. I don't know yeah. her name in the movie. Yeah, Okoye. I thought she was awesome. That yeah. scene with her fighting on the bridge... Yeah, was, Okoye is really was cool. The best fight, like, yeah, I and agree. I loved her. Was I loved her story? With, oh, I I loved it. I thought she was a great character. And her getting like Strong. exiled, and you could see the emotion on it. Like that mm-hmm. whole scene with the queen and her was just so well acted. Like you could feel oh, the yeah. emotion. And yeah, she did a really. I was good gonna job. say the queen, man. I will say this movie. I don't know if it was just. You know, I'm sure what happened to, to Chadwick Boseman, like, I'm sure that had an impact, but man, did they yeah. freaking act. Like, you could yeah, feel I the emotion. I, I choked up at a few scenes, for sure. That There was yeah. a lot of emotion. You could feel it. You could just feel it. Yep. Um. So I agree. So I guess my last question before we end this, with this movie, because like I said, we can go into deeper when we have a Marvel yeah. week, but uh, I guess I'll tell you what I think my one negative is, and I'll see if you agree. So I thought Fury did okay, but I think this movie did what the first movie did wrong too. The end, I just thought it was not good. The, 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 with the ship and then fighting. That was the one thing I was going to, the one ship against, uh, nation of people who can swim and have whales as big as the ship almost and like yeah. that was kind of silly um i thought the and last fight I... was okay i liked that it she... was okay. go ahead no i was just gonna say it was, it was okay and and I, I thought that i dislike shuri i actually think she did really good in the movie and and yeah. especially like at the end spoilers when she's talking and yeah. oh it's his son or, or your nephew or whatever like i thought the actress did great but i i don't i think i'm in a minority but i just do not see her as like 
a threatening presence. And I, and I know, yeah. I, I, I can't explain it. I, I feel like she could she, be, if it's like, I feel like she could turn into a, like a combination of Iron Man, Black Panther, because she's such yeah. a tech person, but she just didn't Which have I that, love. like, uh, that opportunity in this one. Cause it happened so you quick. Know, I don't think it's the actress's fault. I think yeah. it's like she went from like like not being Black Panther to like she's like at the very end she's like freaking rocking it like yeah. like climbing around and and killing it all all the stuff and like I don't know maybe you're right maybe it's the movie's fault to where it just went from like zero to one hundred in the yeah. last like thirty minutes or like figuring out powers and figuring Somehow, out how to do all this how stuff. long the movie was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, right? But like the actress, I thought did great. Like yeah. it's, I liked the I, revenge plot and then how she overcame that. I thought that was pretty mm-hmm. good, and I love that Namor's still alive because I feel like there's definitely some stuff that's gonna go on with Namor and. Yeah, um, I agree. The underwater. So overall, movie. like yeah, like overall, what would you give it out of ten? Like five being average, so it's not like a normal mm-hmm. scale, right? Where seven's average. Let's do five's average. Four is below average, you know, six, seven, eight is a little uh, above masterpiece. But let's do a scale where five is average. It's what definitely, would you it? I would say it's slightly above average. I would, so like a six, six or, or seven. seven. Yeah, I'm trying to think. What would I give a six? I feel like, like for me, like a six would be like... um you know, like, I don't Ant know, Man Ant-Man one, 2. Or Ant-Man 2, yeah. Ant-Man 1's probably higher than the 6, yeah. Yeah, and I would put it... Yeah. I think it's above Ant-Man 2. So you're going like I, a 7? I would say a 7. I loved the the send-off for Chad. Like, this movie as a send-off for Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther kind of mm-hmm. bumps it up, I think. Like, it, they, they nailed that. I agree. Yeah, yeah. They definitely, if they nailed everything, it's it's the emotion and the the weight behind everything. Yeah. I agree. And then I guess you know, going back to Ant Man, final rating for that, you know, five being average out of ten. Um, I'm trying to think if it's worse than like the War Two. I'm trying to think what the lowest what's what's the lowest Marvel movie? I mean for me, I think the lowest ones would be you know, people always say Thor two. People, you know, I would say Captain Marvel. Yeah. Uh I would say honestly for me, Ant Man two, I don't think it's the worst, but it's lower. Uh yeah, but I I so <laughs> this is, for Quantumania, are we are we ranking it like versus other Marvel movies or as yeah, a movie we'll just, overall? We could do it just compared to yeah, let's do other Marvel it, movies. It's if lower. You had to I would put like two. Yeah. I I hundred percent agree. I would put two. Yeah, I, I was gonna say three, but I think it's really blue. Like I'll say this, I wouldn't rewatch it. Yeah, I don't. I have no reason to want to rewatch it. Yeah. So there's there's a lot more I want to ask about ratings and tiers and all that, but we'll save it. Maybe we'll do that for, next week for Marvel. We'll do Marvel next week. Yeah, that might be my homework. You know, and is maybe, I'm going to watch um, Guardians next. Yes, I'll and lucky that. you because <laughs> spoiler alert, I freaking love that movie. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Uh, my homework, you know, I actually. You don't have to, but I'm, or maybe you should too. But I will watch the the new the Secret Invasion show. Yeah. Okay. I'll try that. I, we'll, we'll talk I about have, it. Yeah. Next week. We both haven't watched that, so maybe if we both watch that. How many fresh, episodes of those are there? I think it's just like six. Okay. Yeah, I could do that in a week. Yeah, I mean, the, and uh, you know, Disney shows are. 25 minutes long yeah, so they're all released. <laughs> okay yeah let's try and watch that and i'll try and watch guardians as well yeah definitely we'll watch guardian and uh yeah n- next week could be marvel week because i have a lot of questions about other marvel movies but we'll save it yeah 
Sweet. All right. Well, that was that was fun. Heck yeah, man. I I feel like I did pretty decent on these quizzes. Yeah, definitely. I I love I it. I can't it. wait. Hold for on. Who was who was that one who had Prestor Bale? Yeah, um, Prestor uh, was the middle name for. Uh, was it Bale? Believe, yeah. Yeah. I cannot believe I pulled that out of nowhere and just. I, I you you really didn't know. I had no idea. That is, that's wild. Yep. I, I was like, that, that kind of sounds like a Star Wars name. Well, I guess it does. <laughs> yeah, because it kind of sounds like your last name, too, like yeah. you're saying. So I get why you put that, yep. because, like, <laughs> that's that's crazy. Yeah, that's funny. All well, right. another thing, too, is I think for, I mean, you, you, you think, you tell me, I think we can, you know, discuss each episode, to each week. For Ahsoka, with, yeah. Or Ahsoka, just For a sure. you know um, discussion because that that would be kind of interesting to talk about weekly and yeah, see fresh. So cool, cool. All right. Well, thanks everybody Sweet. for joining us. All the people that are going to watch this, I'm sure. <laughs> oh yeah, man. And uh, we'll we'll be here next week. Sweet. Peace out.